In this video we will see how to design a capacitor dropper power supply. Let's see the circuit diagram of capacitor dropper power supply. The 200 mA fuse will protect the circuit from overcurrent from mains due to any reason. MOV is the abbreviation of metal oxide varistor. It will protect the circuit from mains voltage spikes and surges. As we are using 275 volt MOV, when the voltage becomes greater than 275 volt, it will start conducting to cancel the effect of excess voltage. The capacitor C1 is the core part of this power supply. It will drop excess voltage across it. Excess power will not be wasted as heat as we are using capacitor dropper instead of resistor. You need to use X-rated capacitors as we are connecting it directly to AC mains. The resistor R1 is the bleeder resistor intended to discharge the capacitor C1. When the supply is switched off, it will prevent shocks due to capacitor charge. The resistor R2 is used to limit the high current that can flow when the circuit is switched on. Diodes D1 through D4 constitutes a bridge rectifier which will rectify input power. Among these, diodes D1 and D2 are Zener diodes, which will clip the rectified voltage at its Zener breakdown voltage. Capacitor C2 is the filtering capacitor which will filter the rectified DC voltage. Let's discuss about the design. We can easily find the values of each component by considering a half cycle, and using KVL and Ohm's law. Capacitive reactance is given by 1 by 2 pi Fc, where F is the frequency of AC input. We can find the total impedance by using the values of R1, R2 and C1. So the total current though the circuit is equal to, input voltage minus forward diode voltage drop minus Zener voltage divided by total impedance. So the output voltage will be equal to Zener voltage minus the forward diode voltage drop. You can easily calculate the minimum power rating of each component by using the common formulas, I square R, or, B into I. This is the circuit of a 12 volt, 40 milliampere power supply. Actual values are 11.3 volt and 46 milliampere. Hope you understand how to design a capacitor dropper power supply. Now, let's see our practical experiments. Here is what we made in a breadboard for testing. We used high power resistors than we get in the design. But we didn't find any heating effect in any of those resistors. This is the AC input to the supply. Neutral is connected to the resistor and phase is connected to the fuse. It is the 200 mA fuse to protect the circuit. This is the X-rated capacitor for dropping excess AC voltage. This is the bleeder resistor. And this resistor is to limit initial high current. Four diodes contribute a bridge rectifier to rectify AC input. Among these first two diodes are Zener diodes, which will clip the output voltage at Zener voltage. Next there is a capacitor filter to filter the rectified output. I also used a load resistor to test the current driving capability. Now, let's switch on the circuit. You can see that it is working good. The expected voltage was 11.3 volt. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website, electrosome.com.